Well, I decided it was high time I finally make my own setting. So, let's build a D&D campaign. So I started the process many years ago by basically drawing a map. I was inspired, I was just doodling in my sketchbook, started out and I'm like, oh, that looks interesting and added a little bit to it. And, oh, that's kind of cool. And I kept going and came up with a really fun little map. It's, you know, tw about 20 years old or something like that. And I started the Kingdom of Agic campaign with some friends a few years back really quickly realized I wasn't ready to actually get into m making this its own setting with its own stories. I hadn't done any of the work. And believe me, I understand now for certain and from looking at and talking with others what is involved in, in creating your own campaign setting. So now that I have a better understanding of it, I've sort of gotten the bug, especially with some great DMs that I communicate with re on the regular between Twitter and Discord and so forth. They're really, they really have me inspired like, oh, I hear them talking about their campaigns and I'm thinking like, okay, today on the vlog, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kick this off and I'm gonna kick it off by asking two questions, okay? So I'm gonna enlist your help, my, fr my friends, my viewers, I am gonna enlist your help to get this thing off the ground in such a way. So I have the name of the, the setting or the, the realm or whatever we wanna call it. It's the, it's the kingdom of Agic. So we're gonna start with just this to begin with. Maybe at, over time I'll flush it out. Maybe, who knows, it might eventually become its own world. However, again, I have a map with some areas of interest, but here's the thing. I realized very quickly that I haven't come down to figuring out like, okay, well, what's the quote starting area? Do they just start inside the castle, inside, you know, the main city of this realm? Or more likely, should they start in maybe a smaller village or town somewhere outside of the city? I think that's the way I want to go with this because I'd like it to be something where I could perhaps have a one shot that I use where it always basically starts in the same town or the same area. And that's an, uh, a way that I could perhaps draw in new players, people that I haven't had a chance to engage with before and start things out in a very comfortable, fun way, right? And so I, I got to see the other day, I watched one of Matt Colville's, uh, I love his running the game videos. I think it's an amazing series on his channel. I, I highly recommend it. And I've gotten to the point where uh, he, he was talking about how to build a city, like what steps you would go through in developing your own city. So I've got that down. I have an, uh, some thoughts about that, like, how to populate it and so forth. So the first question is gonna be this. So we have a kingdom and it's sort of in the middle of a fertile plain, right? So there's lots of farming all around it. There are some forests nearby, they are a little ways off. There are some hills and mountains nearby. In fact, there is a Dwarven stronghold. That's one of the areas of interest where they get minerals and so forth, and you know, things like their ores and such. So that's taken care of. So what I wanna do is let's take this town and ask this first question. What does this town supply to the castle of Agic or to the kingdom of Agic? And by the way, Agic is spelled A-G-I-C-K. You can find some of our videos. We ended up moving that storyline into the Princes of the Apocalypse, essentially storyline, which we're sort of coming to the very pinnacle, the, the climax of very quickly in the next probably, gosh, week to two, three weeks or so. That's exciting. I can't wait to see where that ends up. And then I think this group, because they're around level 11 right now, so probably by the end they might be 12, possibly even 13, depending on what they decide to do in the next, let's say, few rooms or whatever you want to call it. So that's only level, you know, that's only like a hair over halfway to level 20. And I'd love to have this group go beyond. Well, so with that in mind, this, this kingdom of Agic, I want to make it more real, more actual, as if it really exists, right? That's part of making this world. And so in order to do that, I need to decide what is this 
town we're gonna build, what is it supplying to the castle? Now here's a couple of thoughts. One thing is, for instance, let's say this small town happens to be out in the forest. Well, the forest is kind of far away and it's actually probably inhabited by elves, I think. So let's maybe stay away from logging. I think logging is something that they're going to import from either from the elves, they maybe they trade with the elves, or perhaps from even another nearing kingdom or something like that. So I don't want to do logging to start. There are some foot, foothills nearby, and those could very easily be grassy foothills. And grassy foothills are they're ideal, in fact, for herd animals such as sheep or something like this. Maybe there's a small village at the base of those foothills that is going to provide wool for the city. So that's one option. So let's make that option one. Another option is maybe they need something like stone block for housing and that kind of thing. What do they build the, ha build the houses in this town at? They're on a river, but the river is sort of in, as I mentioned, the middle of this fertile va valley. So why did the kingdom establish itself here? Well, there's a cliff face nearby. In fact, it's kind of a half moon cliff face that goes up on the northwest side of this kingdom. It's, it's somewhat far away, maybe let's say a day or so travel from the kingdom itself, from the castle itself. But maybe that is where some mining has been done to bring a specific type of stone or rock to the castle to where everyone decided to settle and live. Now again, why, why did they not build the castle right next to the cliff? Well, because they wanted to be as close as they could to water. Yet, so they have, they have the resources, let's say within reach, so maybe it's a stone and maybe there's a, a village right where they do some of the stone mining. That's option two. So let's say option one is a herding village that, you know, the people live in town, but, ha but maybe some of the people go out and raise their flock uh, in the foothills, right? But then they need somewhere to come for their day-to-day -day supplies and so forth, rather than going all the way back to the castle. So option one is the sheep parters or something like this. Option two is, let's say, stonemasons or, or a quarry. Well, let's just call it a quarry town. That makes a lot of sense to me. So that's two. What would be the third one? Third one could be, well, gosh, you know what? I'm not even going to make a third one. I'm going to leave the third one up to random chance for maybe one of you comes up with a great idea to suggest it. You're in the middle of a fertile plain where there's lots of farming. We know that there's a cliff nearby that there's some stone masonry and some, some quarry action happening. And we know that there's some foothills nearby, grassy foothills where there are some kind of herding and sheeps and llamas or something along those lines happening. What's number three? What's the other uh, thing that maybe comes into this kingdom and is supplying some of the job opportunities, some of the resources that the kingdom needs? The final question, so that's question number one is, what does this starting town, we're calling it the starting town, what does this starting town provide to the kingdom? The second question we gotta answer is, well, what's it called? What's the name of the town? Let's do this together. I would love to get some, uh, some participation because some of you all, some of the stories I've gotten from you about your particular games and, and what you're playing and so forth are amazing. And I thought that this would be kind of fun. And you know, let's just start doing something fun together. Yes, it will help me, of course, build the world. But hey, we're also building a community here. I opened the Discord server over the weekend. You can find the information here on the video. And also, you know, we're streaming on Twitch. In fact, tonight we're streaming on Twitch our We Out Here crew. The We Out Here crew is also running in Princes of Apocalypse, so that's fun because I have a little bit of familiarity with it, so it's made it a little easier to run. However, they keep me on my toes in this game because they are doing things in amazing and unique ways. They're approaching problems with um, incredible ideas and creativity, and we just have a blast, so 
by all means, please tune in. That's tonight, of course, at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. If you happen to miss it, then by all means, check out the VOD and know that from now on, on Monday nights, 8.30 Eastern, we are going to be streaming a fun D&D game with a bunch of really great guys, and we just have a lot of laughs. So I, I highly suggest you come check it out. So that's the, the idea is we're gonna build this we're gonna start this together. I'll do most of the work. I'm gonna do the, the vast majority of the work. However, I would love, 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 love to have you who I am becoming friends with and who we're building this community with, I would love to have you contribute as well. So what is this small starting town? What is it famous for, let's say? What does it provide to the kingdom? And what's it called? What's the name of it? I can't wait to hear what you come up with for these two questions. I will be sharing that with you as we go on. And I think this is essentially how we're gonna round out this year of Dean Daily's, the last of the 365 days of Dean Daily. This one, of course, being Dean Daily 296. We're getting there, we're getting there, super close to 300. So these last two-ish months, we will finish by periodically filling in some more detail and, and help building this realm together that maybe I'll be able to provide one-shot opportunities for you here down the road. So with that, I'd like to ask you to check this video out right here. I'll see you at a table someday. Keep rolling 20s and remember, it's your game, play your way.